Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. Today I have a very quick lesson and update for my campfire game. Now first off, I was noticing in my campfire game that for some reason my werewolf avatar was looking quite blurry compared to the actual werewolf sprite. Here I have the werewolf model opened up inside of Blender. And you can see that this model is very detailed and high quality. I actually downloaded this free model off of Sketchfab and I'll leave a link to that model in the description below. Now I have this Blender file set up in a way where anytime I render out an image with compositing, it actually outputs a pixelated version. And I can show you how I did all this in another video. And you can see all of this happen when I do a render. You can see I get a normal rendered image for a second, and then the image changes to a pixelated version of that render. Now looking at this pixelated sprite, it's quite detailed compared to what I have in Unity. And as well, if you look at all of the renders, which I have here in this sprite sheet, you can see that each image is quite detailed. Now, if you haven't done much with 2D games in Unity, and especially pixelated 2D games, you might not know this, but the solution is actually quite simple. Now, the first thing that I always do when I'm working with low res pixelated images in Unity is I'll select the sprite image, and in the inspector, I'll change the filter mode from bilinear to point no filter. Now, normally in the past, this is all I've had to do, which in a lot of cases will actually sharpen up your pixel art. But in the case for my werewolf, it was still very blurry. To fix my werewolf, I actually had to change the max size and I bumped it up from 2048 to 8192. And now you can see that my werewolf sprite is almost just as detailed as the original image. Now that's everything that I'm gonna cover in this lesson on how to fix any blurry sprites or pixel art images that you have in Unity. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and subscribe to my channel so you can be up to date with all my latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.